Good evening, crafting friends. I'm Doreen DeSebas from It Begins With Ink and Paper, and welcome to Funfold Friday. I'm so happy that you're able to join me on this cold Friday evening in the Northeast. Um, we certainly have had some cold weather today, um, and the wind has been a little bit um, up, too. So um, we are getting ready for a nor'easter. And, um, which we're supposed to have on, um, let's see, what day? Sunday. We're supposed to get a nor'easter on Sunday, so it's going to actually be our very first snowstorm of the season. So, I don't know, I guess that's pretty exciting, um, in the long run, but also not sure I'm looking forward to, um, a whole bunch of snow. We're supposed to get 8 to 12 inches, which is going to be a lot of snow. So I first want to give a shout out to all of you who are new to my YouTube channel. I appreciate all of the support this week. I've had over 50 new subscribers. So thank you so much if you subscribe to my um, YouTube channel this week. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy what you've been watching. Um, tonight, I'm going to share a little bit with you. Um, about the mini catalog that went live yesterday and celebration and we're going to do a really fun fold using some of my favorite colors. Um, those of you that know me know I love purple so tonight we're going to be using some gorgeous grape and I'll show you which new suite um, we'll be using. So it is celebration so I want to show you this first and just I'm going to go through this in more detail than I am the catalog. I'm just going to show you what we're going to work on tonight. But we have more um, offerings in celebration than I think we've ever had as I've been a demonstrator. And this is my 25th year being a demonstrator. So I'll be celebrating that in June. Um, so I'm excited about that. But in our celebration, so if you've never been with Stamping Up for Celebration, there are three ways you can earn free product. One, by shopping. So every for in the United States, every $50 order that you place, you earn free product that comes from this brochure. You can host a workshop online, in person, um, virtually, however you'd like to um, host a workshop. And if you get to the qualifying order amount, which I think is, let me just check to make absolutely 100% um, percent sure, um, the qualifying amount is um, $300. So the qualifying amount is a $300 order, and if your order adds up to $300 before shipping, then you earn an extra $30 in free product. So that is really cool. And then the final way you can earn new product is joining my team. And um, Stamping Up is, at Celebration is always the best time to join um, a Stamping Up, um, joining Stamping Up, because you always get extra product and you um, get, you know, you earn something special. And for this Celebration, it's this glass mat and there are some things that come free with the glass mat. And so, um, I can show you some of those things as we go on tonight, but there's a cleaning cloth, there's a um, non-stick, um, I can show you the picture at least in here, there's a, um, there's this non-stick um, white um, mat that can sit on the glass, um, I'm going to actually use it tonight. And it can do a lot of different things, so you'll see that in a bit. So you can choose this glass mat with all of the things that comes with it, um, which is a $60 value, along with your $125 worth of product, all for $99. Or you can still get um, join and get the starter kit for $99, but get an additional... Um, choice of $30 in free product. So it's a good deal. All right. So the celebration. Let's start. Um, for $50 in order, for a $50 um, order um, in U.S. dollars, um, you can earn this watercolor melon um, stamp set. 
you can earn Sunny Days Designer Series paper. You can earn, in my opinion, the most incredibly beautiful um, Designer Series paper, the Flight and Airy. You can receive this Cradled in Love stamp set. I have a friend who's expecting a grandbaby any day, and she is looking forward to using that set. You can receive another beautiful set of Designer Series paper, the Softly Stippled 12x12 12 12 paper, and this actually um, coordinates with a paper in our, um, with a stamp set in our mini catalog. You can earn either the opaque faceted gems or the most adored Designer Series paper. You can also earn the Heartfelt Hellos stamp set, and it coordinates with our hexagon um, punch. You can earn the Trusty Toolbox Designer Series paper, and even if you don't have a tool kind of guy in your life, this Designer Series paper has great images on the back of it, but it also coordinates with the Trusty Tools bundle. And you can earn um, this great Jungle Pals stamp set um, for with a $50 qualifying order. Now we get to the $100 um, um, level. Um, you can earn this set of 15 dies that coordinates with the Jungle Pals stamp set with a $100 coordinating order. You can earn, and this is probably my favorite stamp set, um, but it's actually a bundle, so together they're my favorite. Um, the Softly Sophisticated stamp set and um, an embossing folder, and the embossing folder is the Softly Sophisticated embossing folder. So for $100, you can receive both of those. Also for $100, you can um, receive the Detailed Dogwood um, stamp. So as you can see, I believe that's 14 different items that you can be receiving um, with this, with Celebration. So, today I am going to be using the Perennial Lavender um, um, Sweet Collection for tonight's um, card that I'm going to be making. And this, um, gosh, this, this was the first thing that caught my eye in the new catalog. I just fell in love with it. You know, first the purples drew me and then just the flowers and everything that comes with it. So this is a set that, um, a, a, a kind of giant, um, sweet collection. It is, the whole collection is $126.50. So with this collection, you already earn a hundred level, hundred dollar level, um, um, celebration item or, um, two $50 levels. And if you just add 24, 23, 50 more to your order, you're going to get, um, an additional $50 bonus. So it comes with the designer series paper, the gems, two stamp sets, two dime bundles, and some butterflies. And we're going to be using that tonight. So it is a great, um, sweet collection. And we're going to have fun with it tonight. So this is the card we're going to be making. It is a, um, I'm calling it the Nestled Essentials um, dies fun fold. So I'm going to be using my nestled um, essential die to create a flap for the front of my card. And then my card opens up this way and I'm using um, the designer series paper and I've cut it such that I cut a bigger piece first and then I cut off both all my ends so everything lines up um, perfectly for this card. And then I do some stamping on the inside too. So this is what we're going to be creating. We're going to be using two types of gems on this. Because I'm using the butterflies here, um, I also use some of the butterfly gems to pop on the front. So let's go over what we're going to need to make this card. So 
we are going to need a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock. And this piece of cardstock measures seven and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. I'm going to be scoring it along the seven and a half inch side at three inches. And of course, I'm going to need a scrap to be able to cut my largest hexagon die. So I'm going to be using that on in the nestled um, essentials dies, cutting the large one in gorgeous grape. And then I'm going to be scoring this one at one inch. I'm also going to need some basic white cardstock. And this is a piece that's four inches by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to need a scrap to cut out the second largest um, hexagon um, die from the base, from the nestled essential dies. And I am going to trim this one down at one inch when we get our paper cutter out. And then I am going to also use, um, and I've kind of kept this together because I want to have my um, pieces match. So let me just make sure I've matches. Nope, I think it matches right over here. Yes. So these are how my, my pieces lined up. So I took one piece and then I cut it into three pieces um, to um, be able to die cut it so that my scenery is going to go the same. And these pieces, so two of them need to be at, let me just, my printer didn't want to work tonight, so I have to use my computer for this. Two of them are two and three quarter inches. So these are two and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inch. And then this last one is one and one quarter inch by five and a quarter inch. So what I'm going to want to do is put these two on the front of my card so they appear to um, line up. And that's how I'm going to um, put it together. So I'll just keep these separated. All right, let's start with some scoring. And I'm going to bring over some of the things I need using my stamping mat here. This is, uh, this is the mat that comes with the glass um, stamping mat. So I've just got some of the tools that I'm going to be using, and one of the things that I like about this is that this is non-stick, so when I have my ink pad on it, my ink pad's not going to move around either. So I'm going to get out my, I'm going to start with my scoreboard. That is one of my favorite tools that I use, and let me just get my stylus. And as I said, I am going to be scoring this along the seven and a half inch side, and I'm going to be scoring it at three inches. So I'm going to come over here and make that score mark. Then I am going to be taking this, and I am going to set it up so I've got my midpoint here, and this here, it is, it comes out at, let me just make sure it's lined up. This is at four and three quarters, and I need to um, score this at one inches. So I'm going to go to three and three quarters and score right down. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to take out my paper cutter and put my stylus away. And I am going to cut my white piece. Here, I'm going to cut one inch off. So I am going to line up that end right on my one inch. That's right over here. That's going to allow me to just be able to snip that end off, but keep everything nice and even and straight. Okay, we're ready to start constructing. So this... Um, card, as I said, is pretty easy. So I'm going to fold on the score line, give it a nice crease, 
and this is going to be ready to start letting me put some of my different pieces on. Um, and I'm going to actually do something I usually don't do. I am going to add this piece first so that I know where I'm going to be stamping because if I don't add it, then I might not have my stamp centered the way I would like it. So let's add some adhesive. put that right here. Now I have really enjoyed how well the stamp I've been able to stamp on here and I've enjoyed um, how well the chamois cloth cleans everything off. So that has worked really well with this new glass mat. I was afraid that I might not like it as much because I wasn't used to um, doing, um, you know, stamping on this kind of surface, but it has worked out pretty well. So I'm just going to take a piece of scrap paper. Um, not yet. I don't, cause I'm not going to be stamping off on this. So I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper and uh, not a piece of scrap paper. I'm just going to start stamping. So I have this that I want to stamp on the side. So I'm going to open up my gorgeous grape stamp pad and the two stamp sets we're using like I said before are the painted lavender and the perennial postage these are a perfect set to go together because we have all the images in the painted lavender and all of the sentiments in the perennial postage and we have 10 sentiments in this set so that is really cool and so the difference though is the sentiment set is a cling stamp set, while the photo, um, the painted lavender is a photo polymer stamp set. So you're going to see that different kind of stamping. So I'm going to ink this up. And I love that I can look at it directly through my um, stamp. So I know exactly that it's inked up and where I'm going to stamp it. So I've got my little lavender stamped right there. And I'm going to take my big hugs and make sure this one is inked all the way up. And I'm going to be stamping that sort of in the center of the card. So there we go. The inside is all done. And then I am going to take my label and I'm going to be stamping the other sentiment, um, you mean the world to me, on the label. So I'm just inking that up and I'm going to just center this on the part of the label that's left. So there we go. So all of our stamping is done. So now I can start um, putting this together. Now the first thing, you don't want to just start adding things to your base of the card front because we need to take that first label and we need to put it on the inside of the card before anything else goes into the card so that um, this piece will be covered up. So what I'm going to do is put my adhesive on this side and I am going to put this so that this fold lines up with the edge of the card. And I'm going to place that where I want it to fold over on the front. And I want this to be centered, so I'm going to want to make sure that I have it in the center. So let me, cool, well now I'm going to need that in a minute, so we'll leave it open. Let me grab my adhesive, and I am going to be putting the adhesive on this side. So I really fill it up with some, some adhesive. I'm going to bring this back over, just move my pieces out of the way. And I am going to center this and have the fold right on the edge of the card. Make sure it's lined up. I'm going to make sure I close it again so it looks like I want it. And then I can just press down um, really nicely. Now I can take the inside piece of my card and I can add my adhesive. 
and put this on the inside of the card. I'm still going to layer that the way I would. And now um, you can see, actually, I want this over a little more. So let me just pick this up a little bit. It's not quite centered the way I want it to be centered. So if you lift before the adhesive has had a chance to actually settle in on your card. There we go. That's more better. More better. That's better. I sometimes take my teaching vocabulary and leave it at the door. Okay, so there we go for the inside of my card. Mm, it still needs to go over a little more. Picky that way. And we'll just get it started again. Again, those of you who know me personally know how anal I am about these things. And I want them to look as perfect as they can be. So I am going to go over just a little more. And this time, before I press everything down, I am going to close that to make sure that it is going to be closed the way I want it. Okay. So now, we just adjust it so it's even. Steven, should have kept it where it was the first time. Okay, now that's the way I want it. All right, so this piece here, which is the front of our label, is going to go right on the front. Let me just add the adhesive. And I'm just going to center this on so it doesn't, because I cut the inch off the same amount. It centers right with the top and the bottom and has a good spot. This piece of designer series paper is going to go into the inside of the card. So another great thing about this one is you get to use a lot of designer series paper, which really makes for a beautiful card. So we have that on the inside, and now on the front, we are going to add our other piece of designer series paper. Oh, the colors on this are just so gorgeous. So you've got this beautiful closed image here on the front, and then you have your label that um, covers the front and makes that beautiful flap. Now, what I'm going to do is add that scrap of paper. And in here, this is the pack of the butterflies that you get. And you get a total of eight sheets of the butterflies, five each on a sheet. And so you get a total of 40 different butterflies in this. I am using, of course, the one that goes sideways. So, pulling this one out. Now, on the die package, um, the butterfly is facing this way, but they're white on both sides. So, I actually want the butterfly to face this way on my card, and that's fine, because I can turn that over. But I also want to be able to color in or shade in my butterfly. So I'm going to use a blending brush with my um, Gorgeous Grape ink pad. And I'm going to start kind of at the bottom because I don't want to start with the little antennas. I'm going to blend off and then I'm going to start blending over. And I'm going to do this on the entire butterfly. So that's my first. You can even see the beautiful... Um, negative. So I'm going to add more because I want it a little darker. So, you know, start somewhere not right on those little antenna. 
but I can make it a little darker. And now I think I have it the shade I want it to be. So I'll hold it up here so you can see that on the white how um, dark it got. So that looks nice. And it's blended, so it's not, um, it's not a solid purple. It's different variations of the purple. Let me just move all this out of the way. Okay, so on my card, I am going to add this beautiful butterfly. So like it's swooping in like this. And I'm going to do that with liquid adhesive. And I'm only going to go to the very inside of my card because I don't want to have extra adhesive um, bleeding out. There we go. So I'm just going to put some in the center part on some of the thicker lines and areas that will be able to hold it in place. That looks good. It's not going to take a lot of glue to hold that in place because it's very lightweight. So I'm going to pick this up. Bring the card back over to the center so you can see it. And we're going to place this down. I do want it to come off above the label. So that's why I'm placing it like that. So you can see it's right there. Now I'm going to take our, these are the Purple Fine Shimmer Gems that go with this sweet collection. And it has three different colors of purple. So we have this um, lighter purple that, in my opinion, would match the Highland Heather. Then it has the darker purple. Of course, I had to move one of those. There we go. Then it has the darker pepper, purple that I think goes with the gorgeous grape really nice. And then it has some of these um, more like the rich raspberry. So they're, they're really pretty. And they shimmer, you know, really, really nicely. So I'm going to grab my, take a tool, my tool pick. And I'm going to take three of these darker purple and I'm going to put them right along the spine of the body and have them just go right up to the antenna. Sort of, sort of like the thorax of the body. So that's going to give us a little dimension on that butterfly. So cute. And I hope you can see the shimmer as I move the card back and forth. And then I'm going to take some of these grass butterflies. And I am going to start with a larger one and put that on the label. And then I'm going to just add um, some others. So I, I like keeping everything at that, you know, odd number. So I'm going to put two smaller butterflies flying down here. There we go. We'll have another large butterfly flying away up here. And then another small butterfly going in this direction. There we go. And that is tonight's card. So simple, so easy. You could do this with any set of shape dies that you have. 
just especially if they work it will work the best if they layer together but you could do this with squares you could turn this square into a diamond you could do this with circles the deckled circles you could use the deckled rectangles to do this so any of our die shapes could be made into a fold and um, it's just so fresh and bright and I love that because of the new mini catalog. So thank you for joining me tonight um, for our first Fun Fold Friday of the year. So excited. And on Sunday night, I will be back for Simply Stamping Sunday. And I am going to be using the softly sophisticated stamp set um, in January's... Um, Simply Stamping Sunday. So I hope you join me to see what I have in store for you this month. It is going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to try to use mainly celebration items, but I will admit I do use a piece of, a couple pieces of this designer series paper as well, but I'm hoping to share with you some bright colors. Let's get away from the winter drab and brighten up our lives with some um, brighter shades. So, again, thank you for joining me for this week's Fun Fold Friday. I will see you next Friday night um, with another edition of Fun Fold Friday. And I will be back on Sunday night for Simply Stamping Sunday. I hope you have a great week. Stay safe in the snowstorm if you're in the Northeast. Um, and enjoy the first, fall, um, the first snowfall if you're in the Northeast like I am. So good night, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.